everybody. Today we're here at Sunliner Diner here in Pigeon Forge. And we have not been here since the grand opening of Sunliner Diner. So we're back here to re-review, to see what's new. Has anything changed? You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do Let's this. Do it. We're here at the Sunliner Diner here in Pigeon Forge. It's a 50s, 60s style cafe. They got burgers, they've got pancakes, they got pretty much anything a diner would have. I know they're known for their, their shakes, right? right? Their shakes are a thing here. But we're gonna go in, we're gonna see what this retro restaurant is all about. Now we've been here before, but it's was back when they first opened so you know they've been rolling for at least two years let's head in and see well see what's going on there Take a look at their gift shop. Look at that, Dawn, it's a TV. It's got a little Santa village going on in there. You see that? That is, that is cool. And they, yeah, they have a unique gift shop here with all kinds of retro candy and uh, just a really fun little, little gift shop. Oh, remember these great flying planes, these little uh, balsa wood planes. And they have a little briefcase barbecue there. In case you're looking for a fish flashlight, they got those, those too. Don, you can make your own ukulele. Oh, wow. Make your own ukulele. Yeah. Oh, there's a punching doll of um, Rosie the Riveter. You see that? Mm -hmm. That is really cool. Is that supposed to be Rosie the Riveter too? Yeah, that's Rosie. <laughs> uh, $22. You can, you can punch me with it, Don. Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> Yes, definitely love all the retro toys. All oh, these tin tops. Yeah, that's definitely a lot of fun. Oh, here's a Nerf, an old Nerf ball, Don. Back in the day when that's all they did was the, oh yeah, Punch Judy. That is, that is cool. Check out these Christmas t-shirts from the Sunliner Diner. It's Santa in an old an old car that is cool Donna you see that they're $26 I also have one just a truck it says Merry Christmas I love their t-shirts probably some of the most coolest ones I've seen here in Pigeon Forge they got fighter planes and a pan flute a magic rabbit marble games Oh, an ant farm. Definitely Christmas time here in the Smokies. They have a solar corgi. I love this retro kitchen they have here. Of course, all these cool knickknacks and oh, they got Santa. What, what are these guys? Oh, they're like little butter knives or something. Oh, that's that's cool. And old Santa over there. Definitely a cool little gift shop in here. Oh, there's some piggies in the in the fridge. <laughs> and the old big chill here. So here's their menu. It comes in the form of a of a newspaper. Yeah, center of fun in the Smokies. So let's take a closer look at this menu. They have breakfast served all day long. They have eggs benedict, 
uh, eggs and omelets, uh, ranging anywhere for about $15 to $17. Um, they also have ham and cheese omelets, western omelets, and they have waffles. Light and healthy choice menu and their breakfast sides, ranging around $5. Let's take a look at their lunch and dinner now. Uh, they have appetizers, sandwiches, uh, fried pickles, um, averaging right around $15 to $13. They have burgers, soups and salads. They have a Sunliner Chef salad. Um, so the prices here are, um, well, on the pricier side. They also have drinks, milkshakes, cocktails. Um, milkshakes are ranging anywhere from about $16 to about $10. Um, banana splits, sundaes, um, they also have beer and wine. They brought out these little Sunliner Diner coasters. Of course, we have the ketchup and mustard and some of the creamers. What do you think so far? So far, so good. The atmosphere in here is what yeah. you pay for in this place. It's, you notice that the menu is kind of pricey, yeah. but you are paying for, well, all this here, yeah, the atmosphere. Okay, so I got the Sunliner Diner Burger. What did you get? I got the fish and chips. It comes with fried pickles and french fries. Yeah, so I wanted to order a burger because that's what a lot of folks come to these places for. Um, I also ordered a side salad. We'll see how that goes. What do you think about the service so far? So far, so good. Yeah. We've got our water brought to us. So when we walked, when we walked in, they said it'd be a 10 minute wait. It was about a two minute wait and they sat us down. And uh, yeah, the service has been really good so far. Of course, the atmosphere in here is mind blowing. It's really, really cool. That's why you come here is for this atmosphere. And it's here. Look, we got some fries and this burger here. Wow, that's a big, big burger. I also ordered a side salad, which came out with the meal, which I I, I should have said yeah, I should have said something. And then you. I got fish and chips. And deep fried pickles with it. Deep fried pickle, fish and chips. Oh wow, it smells really good. See that? So there, there's a pickle in there, in there. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I love flavor. So I'm guessing I'm gonna eat my burger and fries, and then I'll eat the salad at the end. And uh, how's your fish going so far? It's got a, the right amount of crunch to it, and it's got um, it, it's just got a, a lot of flavor in the sauce. A lot of flavor, huh? A little bit of uh, ketchup. I also like to put mustard in my ketchup. Look at the size of this burger. The lettuce was a little dirty. They put the pickles on top. They put those pickles off to the side. And of course they have the stick holding it all together. But I want to get into this burger here. It's got bacon, two patties. It's got cheese, onion. I don't know. Let's try this out. They must use a lean burger uh, because it's not greasy at all. It's kind of actually dry a little bit. Um, the fries are actually very tasty. I like the fries, don't you? They got a good flavor throughout. Um, your pickle is really good. And your fish, you, you say your fish is good? Yeah, and the um, crust is really flaky. The fish is good. There's definitely a lot of burger there, though. So this is a salad. They do give you a, a, gener a generous helping of ranch dressing. So Dawn's Fish and Chips were $16.99. My Sunliner Burger was $15.99. The side salad was $6. And we had waters. 
and our total came out to $43.16 with about an $8 tip. So we're back here in a Jeep for the final analysis. Uh, I guess the biggest thing that most people will agree on, you come to the Sunliner Diner for its atmosphere. Of course, the 50s cars inside that you can actually eat in, the checkered floors, uh, the girls wearing poodle skirts, and, and just the atmosphere, the yeah, with the, um, the checkers and all. Definitely, I think that's the biggest draw. I don't think if they had it, I don't think it'd just be like any other restaurant, like a Denny's or something. So uh, getting to that, what did you think about our, our service? Our service was good. The waitress was super friendly and fast. We had her waters and she kept them filled and she brought the food in a timely and good manner. Yeah, yeah, and if anything, I felt a little rushed because it was like boom, 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 boom. And I'm so used of like waiting in between. So uh, if you are looking for like an in and out, at least today on this day, they were like boom, 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 in and out. Um, I noticed our waitress was right was running three or four other tables too, but she did an exceptional job at that. So I ordered the Sunliner Diner Burger. It came with two patties, uh, bacon cheese onion you know the basics um, the thing I noticed about the burgers is they use a really lean burger here and there is it's not juicy it's actually kind of dry and I was looking to like put some you know ketchup or mustard to kind of give it uh, um, you know moist uh, so and some folks will say yeah that's a home run for me because I don't like juicy burgers I want them to be super lean uh, but also the burger to me tasted like it didn't didn't really have a taste to it. Just just didn't So it had no seasoning flavor. No seasonings, nothing. It was just like if you were to take burgers, squeeze all the juices out of them, throw it in a you know, with the natural things with no you know, that's what it really was. It wasn't bad, but I know some folks out there uh, like a juicy, you know, a little bit of a juicy burger but so keep that in mind for folks out there uh the one thing i will say is the fries did not look good when they came out but they were actually really super tasty uh, they had a lot of flavor uh they were the right everything with them you know so so you ordered the, the fish and chips the fish and chips the breading was really good it had a lot of seasoning on it it was crispy and the french fries were hot they were good and my um deep fat deep fried pickles those were good yeah. they had a lot of breading on them very crispy so i actually had some pieces of her fish that it was really good guys um and the everything over there your deep fried pickles were were really good um and we ordered waters now here comes the salad and i make this mistake i keep forgetting that at least in this region or this area uh, ordering a salad doesn't always mean it's going to come out well, before, before the meal, the meal. And in this case, it came out with the meal. Folks have corrected me. I said, Will, no, 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 no. Uh, we like to eat our salad with our with our meal, which makes sense uh, for folks like that. The only problem I have, though, with them bringing the salad out with the entree is I don't want to leave my entree there to get cold to eat my salad. And, and also other people have corrected me, no, Will, the proper way to eat a salad is to eat it at the, at the end. At the end. At the very end. It's supposed to do something with your digestion. I guess it's supposed to help wash it down. I, I guess that's what people in Italy do. <laughs> people in Italy the, do. Yeah, the salad comes out last. Yeah. Because it helps. But the problem with that is, um, if you eat your entree and you can't finish your salad, you ever take salad home? It's all wilty and nasty. It's, it doesn't. So I don't know. But anyways, that was the scenario there. Um, so I guess the big question we always ask Dawn in these reviews is, Dawn, would you do the Sunliner Diner again? Probably in another couple of years. Now, we had all the attention to try some of their desserts in this review, but we were full. We were full. If we do come back, I'd like to try one of the desserts or a shake. Yeah. I think we need to come back and just do desserts one day. Now, for value, um, yes, there is going to be a price tag on this atmosphere of it being in Pigeon Forge. And you guys probably noticed with the menu and with our receipt that it, it's it's not cheap it's not cheap um, I would say that this uh, price is probably above that average for this type of food in this area I know there's another diner in the area where you can get it for 
a lot cheaper um, also. But folks, that's gonna do it for today. Here in Pigeon Forge, here at the Sunliner Diner. If you guys like this vlog, give, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. So we'll continue making these uh, food reviews. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Bye everyone.